Today in this video I'm going to show you how we add some lightning to a picture. So I'm going to open up this picture of a car which I took the other day. And uh, so I've already edited this photo quite a bit. I've changed the sky, I've changed the saturation, changed the contrast and all that kind of stuff. But we want to make it add something a little bit cool so that, like, there's a lightning strike coming down. So for that we're going to add a pencil mark. I'm going to make it quite small, so this is at 0 0.20 and just pretty much draw what we think a lightning strike would look like. So, we, Well, what we'll do actually, just before we do that, we'll make a new layer to draw on. So that just keeps it, so we can play around with that layer on its own. So we'll start from the top and we'll go try and have it as jittery as possible and I'm going to have it coming down to hit the building and I'm going to have a little fork coming off it as well, so just like that. Okay, so that's, you might think, okay, that just looks like a scribbled line, so, and you're right. What we need to do is make it so it looks like it's actually coming out of the clouds. So add a layer mask, full opacity, and add a layer, um, a gradient tool, and on the layer mask, just add the blending. So there you can see it's kind of faded from the sky into being bright down here. So I say that's looking better already. Now the other thing is we want it so that the lightning bolts, as they were, at the bottom of the page are bigger than the bit at the top. So for that we're going to use the perspective tool, changing the perspective here. So we'll just zoom out a little bit of the image, get the perspective tool, click on the image, and let's bring the bottom bits out and down. Okay, so now it's slightly off the where I was wanting it, so that's fine. We can just move it down, click and, oh, wrong one. Click on the new layer. Now this is where it gets a bit difficult, because you have to click on the new layer, and you actually have to grab the white bit. There it goes. Okay, coming down so there. It looks like it's a little bit bigger at the bottom. Now, what we also need to do is give it so it's got a bit of a, a glow to it. So let's go to duplicate layer. So if we add a couple of duplicate, it makes it a little bit brighter. But on the top one, let's go add enhance, no, blur. Give it Gaussian blur. Let's give it maybe six. And there it's got slightly more of a, a haze around the lightning, which makes it look a bit more uh, electrifying. Okay, so I'd say that's pretty good. So let's merge those layers down. So now let's put a little square around our image and let's go to Crop to Selection. Now to make it a little bit more realistic, it would be good to have a reflection in the car. So what we're going to do is on the lightning strike, we're going to make a duplicate layer again. But this time we're going to add this one, which flips or no, it flips the image. So if we click on that, I mean, make sure it's on vertical, and then we just click it. Now what you'll see is that it's come along down here. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to move this one up. Ah. To make sure we actually click on it. There it goes. Okay, and let's get a little bit of it on the windscreen. I think that's where it probably look the coolest. Now, obviously, that's not where it should be. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to erase some of the stuff. So that's fine. Just go. Oh, make sure the opacity is set to 100. So you erase it completely. Some bits down here. But actually, what to do is lower the opacity because you would see a bit of lightning on the bonnet. So just give that a little bit there. And let's also change the layer mask so it's too overly. There, so that's it, just slightly reflected in the window there, or in the windscreen. There you have it, that's how to add lightning to your image. Okay, hope that helps. If you've got any questions, leave them down below and I'll see if I can help. Thanks a lot.